Michael Gasser. I want to sell my 33 pack. Was this in the, was this in the uh, uh, auction at all? Mm -hmm. oh, no. Okay. I've had that car for about 16 years. It came out of Dayton, Ohio. That's not really cool. Hemi, and what, yeah. what, what is the Hemi? It's 392. 392. Yeah. That would be in a 56? 57 or 8. Okay, because I have a uh, Imperial. What year? Uh, 56. Okay, that'd be a 354. 354, okay. And that's a 331, that was the first one. Yes. Okay, a 354, I mean, it runs so smooth, mm -hmm. and I park and I drive, and I have a, uh, I have a 30, um, 36 coupe, Plymouth coupe. Oh, yeah. that, that's, that's, uh, that a, 30 what? 37, isn't it? No, no. Uh, the one you had to... Had the, the front, the it, yeah, the fenders are off of it. I have the fenders, but it's. I, I probably have a picture of it somewhere. But I, I would. I was thinking of putting that since it's, I like to put a Plymouth with a Plymouth. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> but, uh, yeah that was cool when you were talking about anyway, yeah. putting that no, Hemi, no, no, putting that Hemi in it and taking it to the Buick, car shows, yeah. you know, and getting some attention. That pass Buick out some business 30, cards. I had a 350 in it. And this is a Packard. Yeah, 33. Seventeen of those were built. In oh wow. We have a, it's called an opera coupe. See a little short window. It's the only body style they built that year that has a trunk on the back of it. It's got a built-in trunk in the body. Uh, <coughs> Instead of an ex, a, a, a tr just a trunk sitting right. back there. Got you. Sweet. I'd sell this. Uh, it's a little sixty horse. Is that a forty? No, it's thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. Okay. Came out of a family that owned it since fifty-seven. Got mineral oils. I'd sell my Avanti. It is a supercharged four-speed car. Nice. Really, way back in the day, huh? Yeah. They only built uh, 600 supercharged four-speed Avanti. Four yeah. Five glass. Is that a 60 something? 63. They only built them in three and four. Okay. Now, to give you an idea of my Corvette so far, 42.50. This car sold for $5,500. It's a much better tuning car than that Corvette. I've driven that to New Orleans, Mississippi. Did you? You drove this one there? Yeah, way up in uh, Oklahoma, San Antonio. Look at that thing. They even, they, that's way ahead of their time. Studebaker right? made that. Yeah, yeah okay. my, my accountant's husband. Had and this is a G, your GTO? Yeah, 65. You gonna keep this one? Yeah, it? for right now, I would sell it. Right price. But I'm gonna keep it for right now. It's a one owner car. I'm second owner. Uh, I did a nut and bolt restoration. It scored out of 700 points, 692. Lady ordered it new at Van Winkle Pontiac when they were in Dallas. Yeah. Power steering, power brakes, air conditioned car, four speed, positive track rear. Yeah, Air conditioning on the dash? No, that's in right in the dash. No, that's all in the, right in the dash. Sweet. That is really pretty. All of them are. And then this one here, you. That's uh, that's my keeper there. You gonna keep that one? I drove that to Bonneville Salt Flats last year. This time. Did you really? Yeah, there's a picture of it on the wall. Last year. Oh, yeah, awesome. Miles. It's got a '55 Oldsmobile in it. Is it? Yeah, you know. Uh, uh, what, what is what is the uh, the builder near me? Uh, Remember the, the one who does chop tops and all? Uh, he, he doesn't, he just does certain things. Frank? Huh? Not Frank. Uh, Frank Palmer. Frank. These two, Gary? Yeah, those are mine. I wouldn't sell them. Over you want to keep those? Oh, that's my driver. It's been all yeah. over, over the U.S. That's a pretty. It's got about 46,000 miles on it. Is that a it's Chevy? Good. Yeah, all Chevrolet, full of suspension. Yeah, 
down to Carson. Yeah, that, right? Yeah. He, I, I bought, uh, he had the Corvette. That he's going across country and all before his wife passed. Yeah. Um, he, he had the chassis. I bought his Cor Corvette chassis. It was 327, brand new tires. Yeah. And uh, what else? I, I, I deal, see, I have dump trucks, so I deal with his fire. Oh, yeah. He's not in it anymore. No, he sold it to the guy. Well, he's kind of holding the note or whatever. Yeah. That's, that's the way to do it. <laughs> Makes a good guy. Uh, yeah. And Sandy was a real sweet lady. Yes. I don't, I, I'm not, I'm not, you know, real close buddies with him, but I definitely, you know, it, you, you learn to give people space, of yeah. course, and especially, he's in a big, much different league than I am. And this I'm lady a, that I'm was a dirt here, worker, you know? this lady that was here when we came in said, you're, this is one you're about to put in a car? Yeah, I'll show you the car I'm about to put in. I'm building a 34 Victoria Ford. Oh, cool. And that goes in it. That's awesome. <clears throat> that's beautiful. Uh, that's one that's the car. prettiest engine I've, that's one one that I've ever beach. seen. one with the Pebble Beach. That's a Pebble glass beach. bar. You ever heard okay. of a glass bar? Gas I don't think so. Glass bar. Glass oh, bar. Okay. It's fiberglass. It was built in the early 50s. There was a lot of uh, kit cars out there. And okay. that's what this was. Yeah. This one had a lot of racing history. No uh, kidding. There, that's the way it came to us. But it had an Arden powered flathead. You know what an Arden flathead is? The overhead valve conversion? No. Oh, I'm you never familiar. seen one? What it's, is it? It's though? like hemi heads on a flathead because they, they, okay. the, they pull the valves out of that. Well, I can put them into the overhead. It gives them no kidding, auto, no kidding. automatically 100 horsepower. Wow. Really? Oh, yeah. In, in a, in All a the experimentation that you guys do is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what this will do. Well, that's what this had in it. Really? Uh, and it had a lot of racing history. That's interesting. When we were out in Fresno doing a show, I found one that a guy had bought, this dad had bought new and built it. And they owned a Dodge dealership there in Madeira, and they were selling out, and they needed to clear out the warehouse. And they had taken it apart in 85 to redo it and they never put it back together. So I bought it because mm. it was pristine body. So this one had been chopped and butchered and everything. So we used it to put this one back together. And then I restored the one I had. And I sold it at Amelia Island. We were doing a, a concourse show down there and they have a RM as an auction mm -hmm. also. So I sold it while we were huh. down there. But uh, they're, really? they're really neat cars, the little bitty doors, you know. Oh, yeah. I, lo I love them. Uh we had the PT, what was that, uh, P something, uh, Volvo? P oh, P18? P18, yeah. P1800, yeah. yeah. And, and yeah. A, kid, a kid that was going to school near Austin, I mean, him and his dad came up, and they looked around, you know, three, I had 300 cars, walked around mm -hmm. the yard, and that's the one he wanted. And I was so glad to see him, because he he loved it, and it was a cool car, and he's going to bring it down there and, and make it his project. And I was like, <laughs> kid... <laughs> Congratulations. Good for you, yeah. Come on in. I'll show you the rest of the shop. I'm just cleaning this and up, getting ready to take it home. Oh, you're going to have water spots on it now. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm going to wax it anyway. Okay. okay. Is this on yours too? No, no, it's okay. customer. That's your, I this thought is I heard my you. detail booth here. Yeah, I heard, thought I heard you say customer earlier. Yeah. 